Flashback to 1979 when Pops Yoshimura teamed up with Wes Cooley and they dominated AMA Superbike and World Superbike Racing on this exact bike right here. This is an absolutely stunning 1979 Wes Cooley replica. Suzuki decided they'd make a few for the lucky guys out there who had the money and, and the, the brains to buy one. Like my older brother Ray, he actually had one of these in 1980 and uh, rode it through my high school years, so like the 84. Uh, these bikes were ahead of their time for sure. They look absolutely stunning and you know when a bike 40 years later still looks fantastic You know the, the uh, Engineers and the, the um, designers did a beautiful job. It was a revolutionary thousand cc super bike This is one of the if you think if you close your eyes and think 70s Muscle bike 70s super bike. This is a bike that comes to, to mind. This is a well-preserved example of the best of the late 70s Japanese muscle bikes the GS1004 is super robust and reliable, has a race bread chassis design, excellent handling and performance. It just feels light, and even all these years later, it still feels like it handles like it's cast out of a piece of billet. It just feels really well built. Um, this is the this is the bike that Suzuki's factory team, superbike team, raced on. It came stock with 90 horsepower and 525 pounds. It would do 140 miles an hour. Um, numerous pro racing wins in America and all over the world. Five-speed, four-stroke, four-cylinder, brute, fantastic brakes, uh, exceptionally versatile as a, as a super cruiser or a super bike. This one's in beautiful condition. It's a highly desirable, classic, investment quality motorcycle. So um, we've done quite a bit of work to this bike. Since we got it, we invested over $5,500 in parts and labor. Um, it's got new spark plugs, a brand new battery. The engine oil has been changed. The uh, carburetors were replaced with the original OEM carburetors are cleaned, tuned, and synced with the original air box and a complete carburetor rebuild kit with new air intake manifolds and a new set of air filters. Um, new carb boots and clamps. The fuel tank was drained, cleaned, flushed. The inside of the tank was completely restored and Caswell fuel tank lined with a new replacement fuel packock assembly and new fuel line. So the entire fuel system has been completely restored. Um, we're running ethanol free fuel in it. The paint job is absolutely stunning. Uh, it's a the exact reproduction paint job of the original factory Suzuki paint job. The only uh, item on the bike that hasn't been replaced is the left side panel here. This was in the original excellent condition, so we didn't mess with that at all. That's the original paint on it. Um, it's got new uh, replacement 
thro uh, throttle cable, the pull throttle cable, the push throttle cable, a new choke cable, a new tap drive cable. All the lights have been um, tested. Any bulbs need to replace were replaced. Uh, has all new OEM turn signal assemblies. You can see those are brand new uh, Suzuki turn signals. New horn. Uh, it has a new chain and a brand new set of front and rear Matzler Laser Tech tires. Um, the graphics are the original reproduction graphics kit, uh, exactly like the originals. We just professionally, re professionally repainted the fuel tank, the front fender, the tail section, and the fairing. Um, the bike, whole entire bike was rotisserie detailed, hand washed, and polished and waxed to perfection. Polished pretty much all the chrome and aluminum on it. Um, just a beautiful piece. This bike runs amazing. It's a, it's a timeless classic that's perfect for show or go. Um, the uh, total labors were 26 hours labor. Um, and the subcontracted paint <coughs> job was $960. Plus parts, the total was five thousand five hundred fifty-three dollars. You can see it's got braided stainless front brake lines. The brakes work amazing. The suspension and tire, the tires are new. Um, handles great. It's got a nice set of Superbike bars on there. Uh, new Suzuki grips. Uh, set of match black matching levers. Uh, new set of mirrors. Um, just a really kick-ass classic Superbike. It runs like brand new. It looks like brand new. It's not brand new. It's a uh, um, Let's see, 89.99. Was it 40, 44 years old? About to be 45 years old. That's the correct Yoshimura exhaust period, correct? From very, 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 very hard pipe to find. That alone is is a uh, uh, quite a classic piece. And if you come around this side right here, to the engine, to the counter shaft, this is a one of the. I'm 95 percent sure this is a Yoshimura uh, race item right here. It's a uh, counter shaft protector and a case strengthener, transmission strengthener. As far as uh, I know, this was made by Yoshimura for the factory race team. So I've never seen one before on a bike. So this is a really cool piece. If you happen to be a, a GS1000 aficionado and you know more about that, feel free to pipe in. But um, just a beautiful bike, man. Study the pictures. If you have any questions, call us. There's no evidence of any crash damage on the engine cases here. They're nice and straight. The pegs are nice and straight. The frame looks great, as does the swing arm, uh, rims. Um, of course, the new turn signals and seat cover and paint job really tighten this thing up. The engine's been repainted, the frame's been touched up, the wheels have been repainted, um, and the new tires mounted. So if you have any questions about it, give us a call, 860-454-7024. I'm going to ship this anywhere in the United States for you. We, we also offer financing in-house. Um, the one item I noticed was that the base gasket, engine base gasket, was leaking on the bike previously so the in the owner had put some gasket seal on the outside of the engine case right here we had we peeled it all off and confirmed the engine cases are perfect but it has some gasket sealer on there um so it's mechanically the cosmetically it, it de deters but mechanically it seals the base gasket it should have a new base gasket installed at some point but we had to draw a line on the sand we had fifty five hundred dollars in the bike we don't want to on top of the cost of the bike we don't want to price it the, of what we paid for it we don't want to price this thing out of the marketplace and we have two of these one of these uh is in a little bit better com condition cosmetically with lower miles uh, original owner bike uh closer to original than this one and that one's priced at, a, at a, a substantially higher price than this one will be priced at so um it's ready to ride the way it is but uh at some point you want, you're going to want to do the engine base gaskets at, the, at that point you might as well put a set of pistons and rings in it while you're in there so we just didn't want to go through that expense we're offering it as it sits as is Running, ready to rock and roll um, for some summer fun. We put a battery tender lead on there so you can plug it in if you can leave it parked for any amount of time. And uh, I can't think of a more fun 70s super bike that you could possibly swing a leg over than this. My brother had one of these when I was in high school and uh, he had an awful lot of fun. I actually had a pic I have a picture of him somewhere with two chicks on the back at Laconia riding a wheelie. Um, he was some somewhat of a blonde haired, blue eyed playboy. and. Uh, had a lot of fun, and I'm, I'm sure he uh, pulled a lot of chicks with this bike, for lack of a better, more politically correct way of putting it, but that's the truth. You know, two in one day, actually, <laughs> at Laconia. So I'm not sure you'll have the same luck he had, but uh, this certainly won't hurt. Listen to that idle. It's a panty dropper, guys. Thanks for watching, and God bless America. Show, show them the gauges on this thing.
Valve train's nice and quiet on it. The gauges are super clean. Just a really super rare piece. The paint job's at 10. The exhaust note is like no other. 